wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Good. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, were left the splendors of creation. Beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another down to machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this one day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you... Blessing its name like it was one I know my duty to them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow.
supreme. the gatherer, aren't you, little ghost? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done. That's a good boy. Andy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh. Yes,
looks tight, but I can get through. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Ross said never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. Shiny there. No. Everywhere. How does it do this? A metal door. Closed. Maybe this device I found can help. Change color too. It did it. What's that? Oh my god, 
head this way? It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> show me. Show me again. love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. last night? Well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. Don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. So there we sit watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. I saw them lining up in the community room, like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. Shauna handing out meds, like being alive is some kind of pain to be eased. Well, not me. I don't want to go quiet. I don't want to trail off. I want a period at the end of my life sentence, not an ellipsis. Hell, <laughs> an exclamation mark. So if that upsets whoever finds this, too bad. I don't know anyone, anything, anymore. Why did they die here? What happened to them? And Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. I never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. Should have gone. Well. I mean, seriously. Record our thoughts for posterity. Great idea, Director Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like, I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go. And pray for us sinners. 
now and at the hour of our death. I mean, uh, death. I'm sorry. It's been a while. And oh, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh, okay, from the top kids. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace. Don't belong down there. Come. <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy. Such things are dangerous. No! <sighs> well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. Starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now. You're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called South Brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Aloy, come now. Gather the berries. Good. Now eat the berries. <laughs> They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all Mother's embrace. Embrace? The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Thank you. 